Hello and welcome back to the Paveless Movement YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about something unconventional when it comes to using ClickUp. It's about using ClickUp for note-taking. Yes, it's actually possible to use ClickUp for note-taking and I'll show you exactly how this works in this video. Let's dive in. Paperless Movement, your productivity, your way. All right, first of all, we need to differentiate between the different types of note-taking and the information types that we collect. Something that we teach inside the Paperless Movement membership if you want to learn more about. But as a brief summary, we differentiate between business knowledge management and personal knowledge management and you need to be aware what type of information you collect. In simple terms, whenever you collect something that is related to anything in your business, then you should also add it to the business single source of truth. If there is no single source of truth defined in your business, then it's about time to define one. For us at the Payless Movement, we are using ClickUp as our single source of truth and we try to force to have any business related information inside ClickUp and not elsewhere. ClickUp is not the only tool that we use. We are using Slack, we are using MEM, we are using many other tools that collect information as well. However, that's why it's so important to actually define what information goes where. So for example, if something appears that is related to a task, then we always go to the task as our single source of truth for this content type and then we add the content inside the comments. Okay, so and boom. Now the advantage is instead of writing this down in your personal a notebook on paper or you're just telling people in a meeting now it's there for everybody to see so for example what I just did here could have happened in a meeting where everybody sits together and you agree on something about the task and the meeting moderator could then go here and write exactly down what was agreed on there are two advantages of doing it this way first everybody sees what was agreed on and if there is a misunderstanding it could be immediately be resolved at the moment the person writes it down because then you can say man but that's not how we discuss this and it won't happen that in the next meeting you come together you say man i misunderstood this last time in a different way i have written this up differently in my notebook and so on these things are the past then because you have everything in your single source of truth. Then you can work asynchronously. So you could then follow up on here and actually add more content later on or expand on this idea that you have collected here. That's one thing. However, there's always room for personal notes. And this is where the notepad in ClickUp really shines. And I think it's really underestimated and not very often mentioned, but it's actually very useful. So we can go here. You see there are several notes that I created. I can click here and now I see the notes that I made here. The beauty about this is now I can go here. I can archive it. I can convert it into a task. So if I click this, it would ask me where it should be, who should be assigned to, and I can even add the custom fields and so on. Everything to create a task out of this. Or I could convert it to a doc. So if I click here, it will immediately convert it to a doc. And now it asks me, should I delete it, archive or keep this note? So I want to keep this note, but the doc is still here. So let's delete this doc. So you just see that it was able to create this. That's amazing. The great thing is if you have the desktop version of ClickUp installed, you always can hit Command J to bring up the command center anywhere. And now I can say notepad and there you go. It opens up directly the notepad and there we go. Now we are inside the note. So when I am in here and I open up the notepad, I can expand on this. I can still work on the other side and keep the notes going and I can make it smaller again. And the beauty is I can hit slash and I have all the commands that I also using in a doc. So this means I can really sketch out the doc in my notes and then eventually decide Will I make a doc out of this or make a task out of this? This is really amazing and this is great to collect information and take notes. You can also mention people in here and you can even bring in ClickUp lists as well. Go here and bring in the YouTube video list and now we are in the notes and we have the full list of the YouTube videos that we are working on right now. I close the notepad and it's always at hand. So, so whenever I open this up again, it opens up the recent note and I can keep working in there. All right, that's it for this video. I hope this gave you some inspiration to think about what types of information you have and where to place it to find it later on as efficient as possible. If you want to learn everything about how to manage your information in the most productive way possible, make sure to check out our Paperless Movement membership where we dive a lot deeper into this matter. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so I can catch you up next time with another productivity advice.